Go with me today as we visit Yuan Shang Hu. Yuan Shang Hu. Hu is a Chinese word for lake. And this lake is located in Jiading District in Shanghai, China. And as we arrive at the lake, you can begin to see the beauty of it. The nature of the trees and the forest around and the many arenas that are constructed. Also, you can see a running track which it's inviting spotters to keep fit here later in the evenings and on the weekends and uh, we'll start right here and have a quick tour along the lake it's a pretty big lake but i do hope we can take a really quick time to go around it follow me as we go Ni hao shu shu. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Yeah, this is a kind of special kind of a park. Uh, it's not really a park, it's just like the surroundings of a lake. If this was the sea, we should have called this area a beach. But we can go a lot of decorative water plants here, which light in the night. And when we put the plates up, if you can see right here, you can see that there are there is uh, lighting here. And here, just along this lake, Lots of people come here for musicals and their parents and grandparents bring their kids here for walks in the day and uh, spend the time here since so it's kind of um, a fresh here. Most often the population in the summers here is pretty huge and uh, people also fly kites here and even do uh, toy boating on this lake. This is called the Yuan Shang Hu. The Yuan Shang Lake. Hu is the Chinese word for lake. Here we got some kids trying to fly kites. It's pretty good. I like it. There's a sale of cats, kites here. And right here, it's the lake. Beautiful it is. Thank you. 
Be a little bit difficult to uh, hold some kind of romance here, especially with the COVID 19. Nina, your house is where? I'm from Guizhou. Oh, Guiyang, so far away. You came here to see? Also for work. Oh, okay. You're from Shanghai, right? Yes, yes. But now you're in the house, right? 啊，我我去过贵州，我去过贵阳。贵州是吧？嗯，贵阳。因为我以前认识也好几个，他们一个是印尼的，印尼的，在那边发展也很好。所以你们已经放假吗？嗯
我就他没有人看，所以你带他来。对，对现在放假，然后带他出来逛一逛。逛一逛。刚做完作业，要出来散散步。啊、嗯、，Hello， 小朋友，你叫什么名字？我叫石晨曦。你几岁了？我九岁。你在这里上学吗？嗯，不在。啊，你现在几年？你是几年级的小朋友？三年级。三年级，已经长大了呀。<笑>你现在会做自己的事情。你喜欢去个公园吗？这个湖，远山湖，远山湖好玩吗？好玩。嗯 ，How are you? How are you? I fun, thank you. Very good. 你为什么现在来这里玩？嗯、为什么？因为这边做完作业，是不是要出来散散心？<笑>什么？这边风景好。哦，这里的风景好，好吧。很多 duck， 这个 duck 应该是不是能吃的吧？这个是国家保护动物。哦，国家保护的，所以这里。哦，野生鸭子有吗？这就叫野鸭子。野鸭子啊。这是国家三级保护动物，二级保护动物。OK。Hello。哇 ，You run slow。You can look right out there into the lake. You'll see some ducks swimming on the lake, and、uh, these are not the duck we use for food, but wild ducks. They're called the Yanshan Yazi. They are like protected by the government and、uh, put on this pool to、uh, purify the pool to make it beautiful and real natural. Here we have guys flying kites, guys skating, and everywhere. Here I met a little friend here, my little friend here.、Uh, her name is Sugar, Sugar, Sugar. You sure you know your name? Your name? You 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 guess your name? Your Chinese name is what? You like to play here? Why? 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 哦，你喜欢玩水，嗯，所以你每天来这里玩水。你肯定是小鱼，你不是鱼吗？嗯。你们每天来这里玩吗？哎，对，我们每天都来，我们每天都有人在这玩的。啊。这地方就是玩的地方。玩玩一点会有好多人来玩。你讲，你中中国话讲得很好呀，一般般，一般般，一般般，讲得很好。我们说话你能听懂吗？呃，哪个哪个话？我们是说你话你听懂吗？不是不是不是，我懂普通话。讲普通话。我说我们天每天都在这地方玩，你懂吗？当然了呀，是不是我问你啊？啊，对的。什么什么时候？每天都来这里玩。什么时候人最多？星期六、星期天人最多。啊，星期六、星期天。过年时候人更多。哦，过年的时候人多。不回老家。对。今年不能，今年疫情。疫情不能回老家。疫情你听懂吗？疫情。是的，我知道疫情呀。<笑>我知道疫情。好吧。我来中国多少年了？嗯，快到三年。三年。嗯。普通话讲的这么好的。好的人本着比较聪明吧。太聪明了，帅哥，你太聪明了。<笑>
这个是什么东西？这个是什么？这个是什么？嗯，小朋友，小朋友玩的。Father, we are now moving out to rise up and go to the other half of the of the of the, of the lake. If this was a sea. This would be the beach. Rising to view from a top level. Ow, Shabaya. Niha. Since like we're, we're gonna rise up a half bridge this bridge doesn't really go across the lake it's been constructed to elevate over the lake right to the maybe to the middle like uh 10 meters into the lake where you could literally walk on it and stand there have a proper view of the lake and its surroundings you can see right on top of the bridge there is a, a glass section where you could stand on it and view the water right below you it's a little bit scary but it's not like the glass bridge but it's like a partial glass bridge and from this view you could see right across the lake to the left of it and uh, go right through there right across there the famous building there is called the uh, jardin theater where people go for performances orchestra come in book in appointments and go there for performances and right across far away from here is still the lake. The lake's extension is far away. The lake's uh, circumference is about uh, two, three hundred meters square. Here's the glass bridge, the glass patch of the bridge. Okay, we rise uh, towards the top of the... Bingo! It can't be called a bingo. Hey, ni me yo limao. Shao guo. Alright, we're standing right here at the top trying to watch the game right from different perspective, different point. And you can see a long street here going right down. Zoom it closer. This is uh, the beautiful surrounding of the Yuan Shan Lake. you see here right now which is colored red and blue and marked with uh, white lines go right around the lake itself 
it's a path for people to come here in the evening for exercising running around or walking around the lake and as you can see the lake is crowded with trees really old trees and mature trees that make it pretty natural and uh, refreshing Yeah, it's all so bright in the evenings. And uh And during the summers, the water there is quite shallow. Everyone gets there and uh beats the water. This is Jardin Theater. This is like the biggest theater hall here in Jardin District. And uh, it's quite busy with lots of theater performances, orchestras and operas here weekly. And uh, pretty much I haven't really attended any occasion there. I won't lie to you. But if you, but I happened to pass by when there was a performance going on and I was given opportunity to stand and look inside. And it's quite, it's located just in the lake itself like this is like part of the lake but this area of the lake is quite shallow the, the area that is right bordered with the shanghai theater is quite shallow just below the knee level in the summers lots of people come here for uh, to cool up themselves and there's lots and lots of people sitting in the water standing in the water and playing with water and uh, running around in the water and chanting while some music is going on I'm pretty sure I'll bring you here sometimes in the summer to have a look at how busy this place could be. Champagne, any how? Ay, any how? Any how, any how, any how. Here people could sit around and literally hear the signs of no swimming. No swimming, no fishing. So it's literally just to provide fresh air for the community. People come here and sit around, make stories and talk to friends and neighbors. And uh, literally, I do hope people step off their phones and uh, try to... I suppose these scooters shouldn't ride on this path. I love water, I love swimming, and I love singing. We're going to go to the other half uh, of, the, of the lake, where we'll probably meet people singing. Usually in the summer, there's a lot of noise here, like people singing, different people dancing, plaza running, jumping, people there wasn't no swimming sign or uh, no fishing sign here that's why I see some people swimming right now that's out of the law I'm gonna take the fish home I'll go there and take the fish Shushu ni hao Zai lu wo ma wo xia bu wo ya bu yao xia Oh yeah, bro, see how? This pass up a running around and uh, this is swimming. Actually, there shouldn't be fishing here, but I'll just pass around. If they get a fish, I'll take a fish. Fish for fish. 
no fishing. Maybe they are professional uh, fishers. Appointed by the government to fish. That's great architecture here in the theater. I don't know how, but it's pretty beautiful. And here we got a pretty uh, important uh, international hotel. It's called um, Yacht Regency. Ni hao. Hello. 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 That's how we do it. Ni joa yula ma. Mes ma yu ni la kama. Ni joa da yu ni la wan kwe ure. Hmm? Chaji ni sa joa yu ni si. Ya wo suwa. Wo kwe joa yu. She don't catch any fish. These are rich bearers. They could trip into the water. Either way. Well, it's not a very interesting thing, but the risk here is you jump by jump. While we are taking our tour along the running path here, I can show you how beautiful this natural atmosphere is. This is Shanghai, a place with the tallest buildings in the world, most of the tallest buildings in the world, but you can find a literally quiet area with blue skies and fresh water and an inland drainage lake found here so beautiful and so clean and a space for people to relax and feel really refreshed and the children running around but screaming and kind of wonderful nature this is pretty amazing and if ever you're in shanghai or you're coming to shanghai do not hesitate to visit this beautiful we came across one site. of the people having fun around he's about to launch a kite it's not a joke This is not a joke. Can it go very high? Okay, the wind is not strong enough. Yes. But the strings are not so long, right? Yes. It's a double string. Double strings. So that's the key to start the one string. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was wondering and thinking like. Okay. It looks like these three are having a lot of fun with water spilling. Ni pang ba o kan sha se kwe pang tu yuan. Se kwe pang tu yuan. O kan sha. Da pang da o. Ja yo ready go. All right, in me do. Ah, in me ling ling. Ah, san me. Mm, oh, ai. Ni yo ta da ni mama mama kwe tir ni bang Okay It's pretty amazing here
it looks pretty big here a part of it is uh, designed for self-use and uh, got a sitting area as well the other side of the lake and Management uh, committee makes sure that they keep a green forest on, uh, along the lake. From all the ends of the lake, you can see trees growing, really pretty big trees forming the forest, and other smaller trees and grass right below the tree, which are being pruned regularly to maintain the beauty of the lake. All of these are to give the purity or the freshness of the air lake area. Uh, this will give everyone, especially those who are working busy life or living busy lives in the city centers of Shanghai and other places, to feel quite refreshed whenever they walk along the lake or sit near the lake or camp uh, along the lake side. Oh shit, what the hell are they thinking? This is one of the bridges across uh, one of the creeks that leads into the lake and uh, this is not a pretty long bridge but it's not uh, for cars, it's just for scooters and people to walk by and uh, most often they prohibit scooters to get into the park so it's pretty much just for pedestrians to walk past it and have fun and from this bridge we could turn and view this like tour of, uh, towards the northern part of the, of the lake we could sit down towards the south of the lake and we can see pretty much an island right in the middle of the lake you can see it right there we'll be going closer to see exactly how far away it is from the lake and how do people get onto the islands we haven't seen any boats here on the lakes but i saw some last time when i got here and from this view you could see the lake how big is it from this end and uh, how far away right across is where we started we've been going around and we probably almost getting to the end and we're going to the most fun part of the lake the west section of the lake is pretty fun we'll be going there soon how are you Jayo!
We will be walking quietly right now in order to give ourselves a chance to listen to the voices of the birds and to the quiet sound of the water here and to get a great feeling of nature. Today is February the 3rd, 2021, which is a winter here in Shanghai. So most of the trees in the park could be getting a little bit brown, uh, caused by the oh, cold air. And, uh, but then you can see the colors of the tree being zoomed out. They are pretty brown. The air is quite beautiful. This is also considering the hour of the day where this video has been taken. Uh, later in the evening, about 4.30 p.m. on a sunny winter, morning, uh, sunny winter evening. So, you can see the beauty of it. I came across some friends sitting right by the lakeside enjoying a meal and I was like hey you're having lunch and they said no this is not our lunch this is just a few snacks and uh, we wanted to sit here and have a talk and uh, watch the lake and I was, it was kind of amazing and uh, let's listen to them and see what they got to say oh. mm. After having a few bites of snacks with the girls, I walked away and I was quite amazed with the cleanliness of their lakeside. And this also attracted me much. This was a, a huge stone sculpture here. It's a pretty big sculpture. I don't know whatever brought it here, but it's so beautiful. And the lawn around it is cleanly mowed. And uh, the place looks so beautiful. Sitting around here just makes me feel peaceful and airy. Mm. Island right over there.
right here it looks like a dock where where people come and sit and wait for a little boat to take them right across the lake to the island and right over there is the island i don't know up there looks like uh, there are some birds on the islands and uh, cultivated I, uh, very few people might be living there on the island i mean like visiting not like literally living there like the habitat but it's a pretty beautiful place uh, This is a perfect area for camping. Here we got large trees with huge shadows whereby people could set up their tents here, come right next to the water, hit a barbecue, go back to their tents right under the trees and uh, have a rest, drink some beer, relax and feel really refreshed. From here they could look really far, stretch out their eyes and uh, look over the water, look onto the tallest buildings in Jardin and uh, the Jardin Theater and feel so relaxed. This is exactly what most people need after living in the city center for a long time. And you can just raise your head and see the blue skies because they're so tall buildings, there's skyscrapers everywhere in downtown Shanghai. Just 25 minutes away from the city center, you have this wonderful, beautiful lake site here. And you could spend a weekend here because there are hotels nearby with pretty affordable prices giving you a feeling of rest a feeling of relaxation and when you go back to work the next day on monday you feel like you're from a real vacation Right in front of us is a building under construction, but when you look into the inside, you realize that it's a bar, restaurant, kind of amusement area or entertainment area where people who come here to spend a day or two could go there to grab drinks, feel fun, eat some food and get totally relaxed right directly. What you're seeing, the building I'm zooming in from there like that.
interesting thing with most with every park we got here in Shanghai, China, is that there is a provision for parking at every end. Like the size of the park would determine the size of the parking lot. This is uh, exactly where we can bring our cars from wherever or hire cars from wherever, pack them here and wait for and have the fun we really need. One of the key things here is the security system. Um, together with the working team that helps to clean up the park and help the park helps to clean up their lake and uh, help to construct the lake and repair, we've got quite a lot of security cameras that are pointed to every direction. So much such that it's so difficult to have accidents in these places. This makes them really safe. Sometimes they roll them, trying to give them that place for atmosphere that is needed for a refreshing area like this. You can see nature in every form. A hill to run down up, trees and birds singing, a huge lake, and up right to the left, you could see the modernity of tall, huge beauty.
to the end of this real show of the Yuan Shan Hu Lake. And uh, pretty much I thought that was the end of it. But right now I'm seeing some really beautiful rings around these tall trees right here. And I was going to put it in the video. This might be very fascinating for some artists who might pick up a picture from here from their real artwork. And uh, yo, this is the end as we come to the end. Walking across the lake, that is very beautiful. Everybody want to say goodbye. I've been going to places, but here is the best. The best because the nature that has it in need. People moving around playing it for fun the trees pretty green and the water so fresh people with scooters are happy for the life life that you see everywhere that you build the taller the buildings the more you are stressed the taller the buildings the more you your stress water is fresh and the trees are the leaves and the trees grow low i invite you to try the biggest and not best bestest of people around bestest of food bestest of trees and bestest of pack everybody want to stay right and the best the people are the best and they think Thank you everyone for watching our video. This is a very beautiful park in Jaren District. It's a beautiful lake in Jaren District. And uh, here, right here, you can enjoy the peace, the quiet, the love of nature. And uh, I'm very pleased that you're watching my video right now. You're watching right to this finishing line. And I do hope that you subscribe to my channel for much more beautiful videos about the beautiful places we've got around Jaren, Malu. China, Shanghai, and uh, I will bring the best to you all. Thank you very much.